Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how I built my ski resort. I used the tree shelter to log troop trick, which I believe has been fixed now, and zipline the logs up to where I'm building my cabin. I put some log holders up there to catch the logs. I used the log troop trick um, just because there aren't many trees up in the mountains, and I didn't want to get rid of the trees that were there, um, just for the scenery. So I started off by building the foundation. The logs are lifted automatically to match the rest of the grid until the ground becomes too low. When that happens, you'll have to put another log underneath as long as the ground is only one full log down. Here's where things got a bit trickier, as the ground here sloped down too much, more than one full log high. So what I did was I added a strut to lift the horizontal log to a 90 degree angle. You can use a half or three quarter length log for the struts. They'll just look a bit different from each other. I then built the grid up the way. I added this log for easy access to the roof so that I could continue building another floor. I also added struts on two parallel sides so that I can clear away most of the support beams later. Earlier I used a tightrope walking strat, but with more logs in the way I'm going for the Mario strat. However, after falling a few times, I decided that the wall hugging strat is the one for me. As my building extended vertically, I had to extend my ramp as well. Some of these logs I couldn't remove, but after continuing the build, I was able to remove more of the logs. You can build different types of roofs based on the length of the vertical logs. I'm going for a gentle slope here, so I'm going up a quarter log each row. It's easier to chop the logs to size when you've placed it down vertically. This can either be on the ground before placing it, or directly in situ. This ramp was a terrible decision, and later I just ended up using the diagonal logs I'd already placed for my roof as a ramp. To make a pointed roof rather than one that slopes but then is flat on top, I stacked logs of decreasing size. So a three quarter log on top of the full log, then the half log, then a one quarter log. Finally, I added two full size logs to complete my triangle. I wanted to make sure the foundation for the upper levels was okay, so I held out on building the stairs, but maybe I should have built them sooner? You definitely want to avoid adding floors and walls until you've finalised your structure. It makes it much easier to make changes if you don't have to dismantle all the floors. At the end, I just went around looking for logs that I could remove just by tapping C first to make sure I was removing the right thing before holding down C. Ropes are another way to access upper levels, but getting the logs there as well is more awkward. So remember what I was saying about not putting down the floor too soon? Well, I should have built the guardrails from my veranda at the start as I discovered you can't place a horizontal log down if it intersects a vertical log. That meant that I had to dismantle my entire balcony and rebuild it. I put down one quarter sized logs, then the horizontal logs. I then added three quarter length logs so that with the one quarter log I'd already put down, it would equal one full log in height, matching the height of the ground floor. With all the fiddly bits done, all that was left was the decorating, which I will reveal at the end of the video, so keep watching. I built a few lookout towers up the mountain, and I extended the one at the very bottom. I also connected them all with zip lines later on. It's really, really important to build the base foundation first, to make sure you're building on an even surface. I'm a bit impatient, so I keep forgetting. Please don't be like me. In fact, my entire YouTube channel is about how to not be like me. Here I'm doing a similar thing from my bridge that I did from my roof. I'm just using different sized logs to create different angles. If you landed on the beach instead of here on this mountain, it would be a much nicer place to build a ski resort. 
or who knows, maybe the crashed helicopter will attract visitors. I found that I couldn't add vertical logs on top of my bridge until I'd built the floor. I added handrails so I don't get sued. My first extension was a bit small so I made the second one bigger. I decided it would be nice to have gable windows. Don't ask me why. <laughs> After hours of struggling, I finally managed to make one. I then promptly forgot how I did it by the time I started on the second one. Basically, you need to build a cube frame with diagonal logs on either side for the sloped roof and triangles on the top, front and back. I made things more awkward, as usual, by using three quarter sized logs instead of full sized logs, as I didn't want the window to be too tall. In the end, I put down two three quarter length vertical logs close to the centre of the roof, then two full sized logs diagonally towards the edge of the roof. I added a full sized horizontal beam to the two vertical three quarter sized logs. I couldn't place vertical logs on top of my diagonal logs. Only the option to lift them appeared. I added planks to the slopes or ramps on either side of my gable and then I was able to place the three quarter length logs vertically on the end of the diagonal beams. I could now add all the horizontal logs in the triangle. Once you've placed one log from above, you can place all the other ones from below. Finally, I added planks to finish the gable window roof. Here, you can clearly see the difference between an actual roof, aka a floor, versus using a ramp as a roof. Using a ramp as a roof is just for aesthetics and doesn't actually keep the elements out, so it's really best to build both. In this situation, you can see the different outlines, so you can either place the full-sized log down, ignoring the triangular-shaped gap, or, if you see the arrow, your character will chop the logs to size to fill in the triangular gap.
Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. See you in my next video.